Hey y'all, today I'm gonna be working on my John boat. I have a 14 by 36 Duracraft. I have a 65 pound thrust, 24 volt trolling motor cut down to 36 inches. That way I can get the head down when I'm making roll cast in the river, the head's not in the way. I've upgraded to the Millennium seats. I love them, very nice seats. And today I'm going to be installing advanced manufacturing seven inch setback manual jack. Now I'm not installing this to uh, looking for performance increase. The reason why I'm installing it on my boat is because of this right here. My tiller handle is too close to my actual seat in the rear. Duracraft does not have rear flotation down the sides of the boat so the bench is actually a little closer to the transom than most boats and when you're sitting in the seat sideways the tiller handle actually hits the seat and gets in the way and then if I kick it up in shallow water drive it's, it's even worse so I bought a man a bench setback plate to help solve the problem be installing it today and I'll walk you through how I do it. Now the first thing I'm going to have to do is remove my outboard from the boat. And this is a 99 Mercury short shaft on a 16 inch transom, inch and a half thick. And then I've already got my transom stabilizer brackets cut out of quarter inch aluminum, one inch wide stainless bolts with extra large fender washers for help with support and i have star bright marine grade silicone to go behind the jack plate to help seal the holes up through my transom once the installation is complete now that i have my motor off i got the jack plate situated the way i want it Got a little bit of cushion in there so the C clamp don't scratch the aluminum. And I took and cut me a pencil real short and went in there and marked the holes. That I want to drill. And then take it off and drill my holes and everything should be lined up. I did run into a little situation. On my boat, I did have this plate on here behind the outboard before. And the jack plate was wider than this plate, so the bolts wasn't going to secure down properly. So I removed the plate. And I'm going to have to wind up filling in the holes after I drill my jack plate holes with my Star Bright Marine Silicone. And everything should be good then. I have my holes drilled for my jack plate. This one wound up being right next to a hole from my transom support. So I had to remove that bolt and drill right next to it. But it's going to be covered. And I took my Starbright Marine Silicone and filled in my prior holes for my small plate that was on here. Next, we're going to get everything lined up put the jack plate on got the jack plate on got my transom reinforcement bars installed got everything tightened down I still got the jack plate loose because I still got to put the motor on it and adjust it everything tightened down good Looks good and straight. Got my whole silicone. Now to put the motor on and do an eyeball adjustment. And I will have to take it to the river and run it, but I'm not going to do that today. Get the silicone time to dry. Okay, y'all. Have everything finished up. I have the jack plate tightened down. Everything's good and solid. 
I am going to have to adjust it. I will need to take it to the river and adjust my height. And make sure everything's good to go. But, uh, like I said earlier, I'm not looking for a lot of performance increase out of this. I'm mainly looking to be able to do this right here. Turn my seat sideways and be able to steer my motor without it hitting. Angle. Tiller handle's not in the way anymore. Everything's solid. Got my transom brackets good to go. Tighten down with stainless hardware. No longer in the way of my seat. There's two smaller rivers here in southeast Georgia. I do pond fishing also. I will be posting some fishing videos here in the near future. I'm just getting this channel started. I wanted to walk out through my jack plate installation. Once again, this is a Vance manufacturing five inch lift, seven inch setback plate for a clamp on motor. Janu style boat clamp on motor. And uh, so far I'm very pleased with it. It's very solid, well made, made in America. Y'all check them out if you have a small boat, need an application like this. I really appreciate y'all's time and thanks for watching.